Hello folks, welcome to our channel. We all know about the importance of potassium in our bodies. When it comes to regulating the body's overall equilibrium, nerve transmission, and muscle contraction, potassium is a powerhouse. But what happens when potassium levels plummet? The condition is known as hypokalemia, and our topic for the day is hypokalemia and its profound effect on the human body. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support us for more informative content. Let's kick things off by demystifying hypokalemia. We all know that potassium is essential for our bodies, but do you know why? Potassium plays a crucial role in almost every aspect of bodily function. A mnemonic can help you remember the functions of potassium in the body. Here's a simple mnemonic using the word muscle. M stand for muscle function, for contractions, U for heart, for regulating the heart's rhythm, S stand for sensory nerves, for nerve function, C stand for cell fluid balance, for maintaining fluid balance, L for low blood pressure, by countering sodium, and E for excretion. Regulated by the kidneys. Along with it, potassium also plays a very important role in pH balance and energy metabolism in our body. Now what happens when this precious molecule plummets all of a sudden? When blood potassium levels drop below the normal range, often below 3.5 milliequivalents per liter, hypokalemia develops. For cells, especially muscle and nerve cells, to maintain their resting membrane potential, potassium is a crucial electrolyte. The equilibrium between the potassium levels within and outside of the cells is upset in hypokalemia, making it difficult for the cells to continue functioning normally. Number 1. Impact on Muscle Function Action potentials, which are essential for muscular contractions, are initiated and propagated by potassium in muscle cells. Low potassium levels result in a higher resting membrane potential, which makes it more difficult for muscle cells to properly depolarize and contract. As a result of the muscle's inability to generate enough force due to compromised electrical communication, this causes muscle weakness, cramping, and, in extreme cases, paralysis. Next, effects on the heart. The heart relies heavily on the coordinated contraction of cardiac muscle cells for proper function. The electrical excitability of heart muscle cells depends on potassium. Reduced potassium levels in hypokalemia can interfere with the regular electrical signals that control heart rhythm. By causing delayed after depolarizations, it can result in an arrhythmia called delayed after depolarizations, in which aberrant electrical impulses can start new heartbeats and perhaps result in ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation. Now let's discuss the neurological consequences of hypokalemia. Potassium ions are essential for electrical signal transmission in the nervous system and for maintaining the resting membrane potential of nerve cells. It can be more difficult for neurons to form action potentials and transfer signals effectively when they are hyperpolarized as a result of hypokalemia. As a result of the reduced nerve cell function, this might cause neurological symptoms such muscular spasms, tingling feelings, paresthesias, and confusion. In hypokalemia, disrupted potassium balance can lead to increased blood pressure due to heightened vascular sensitivity to vasoconstrictors. It can also affect kidney function, potentially leading to further potassium loss or impaired regulation of blood pressure. There you have it, folks. A comprehensive look at hypokalemia and how it can affect your body. If you found this video informative, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And of course, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to stay updated on our medical content. Thank you and stay healthy.